What's up guys? Ken here from Northwest Hot Spots. Hey, I'm driving past Cabela's and I noticed they got their full lineup of all their brand new boats in. They must have just got them in. The entire parking lot is just covered with new boats. They're everywhere. They go all across the parking lot, all the way around the side of the building. I've never seen such a big selection of boats at Cabela's before. So I'm pretty excited. Let's go see what they got. Let's see what's new for this year and uh, check out some prices. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Start with the small ones and work our way up to the big ones. So they have a big selection of Spartan boats here. These are nice boats, man. These are really nice heavy duty aluminum boats. Nice trailers. They even got windshield wipers. <laughs> That's cool. All right, let's check it out. The smaller one here, we're talking about 18 footer, 61,000. The, the prices I'm seeing at, at the Seattle Boat Show, I would say this might be a little more than some of the prices I saw. But then again, it's a nice boat. Look at that extended transom. These are nice boats. Solid. Another one. They got a price tag on this one. Oh, no tag, but I think it's the same boat pretty much. Let's get a shot inside. Yep, well, we could fit six people in here easy. Mercury Pro XS motor, 115. I don't know what Pro XS means, but if anybody does, leave a comment. This is nice, dual axle trailer. Smooth ride going down the freeway. The boat won't sway from side to side when you're driving down the freeway. I love that. Oh, we got a tag on this one. What do we got? 69,000, 20 footer. I mean, I figure all these aluminum boats, they're all competing with each other. So each one has maybe a little something that the other one doesn't. So, I mean, I figure you're getting what you pay for. All right, next up. Another 20 footer, 71,000, 72 almost. Here we go. Man, that's nice. There is a lot of space in this boat. Yeah, you can definitely fish six people from this boat. Got your bait station fish box. Yeah. Another 20 footer. 76,000, 77,000. Oh, because it's the hard top. With the rocket launchers. That's nice. That is sweet. Let's take a quick look. Okay, keeping it moving. Another one. Oh, no tag, but same boat. Another one, black one. It's a beast. No tag. I don't know, you like the black or you like the white? They're both so nice. That black one looks pretty badass. 22 footer. Oh, look at that. Woo. That is sweet. Step up. Let's get a shot inside. Mm. Hang on. thing is a monster man what a nice boat let's keep going another one like the other one looks like another 22 footer and I wish they had a sticker let's take a look over here oh we do have a tag what are these going for oh 125 
Whew. All right. I love this shit. I used to have a nice 19 foot aluminum boat. I sold it. Hoping to move to Hawaii, so I'm not buying another one yet. Hey, another one of those Mercury Pro XS motors. I need to know more about that. What does Pro XS mean? Anybody know? Another one, 24 footer. 158, 158,000. Hey, they even gave us a little step so we can ch jump up and check it out. All right, we can take a closer look at this one. Mm, oh, this thing is huge. Wow, there is so much space in here. You could fit, you could fish eight people from this boat. No problem. Let's take a peek inside. Oh, it's locked. It's all right. Man, there is so much leg room. There is so much space on this boat. This boat is bigger than it looks from the street. This is nice. All right. Here is a sweet center console. Mako. Mako makes really nice boats. Another nice 200. For those of you that like center consoles. Okay, I'll tell you right now, this is I really like this for a center console because it's got so much space. When you walk around the side, there's plenty of room to walk around and you can even just stand there and fish if you wanted to. So, plenty of floor space to walk all around the boat and fish. Very fishable boat. Very nice. And I know there's another little like seat or cooler with cushion on top that goes right there to go with that backrest. Nice hard top. Stereo system, let's check the price. That's a nice center console. 71,000. 600 a month. I like Mako. Mako makes nice boats. And that's a nice center console. Another nice little Mako. It's got that old school Boston Whaler body style. For those of you on a budget, depends on what kind of fishing you want to do or what you're going to do, but there is actually, a, it's a small boat, but there's a ton of space inside this boat for all your gear, so very functional boat. horse mercury galvanized trailer very affordable too 20,000 200 a month I don't know could you take something like that out on the Puget Sound are you gonna take on water in this baby probably fine as long as you check the weather it's not a bad option if you're on a budget so I was just at the Big Seattle Boat Show and they had some really nice high-end ski boats and they were like $250,000 each, just crazy. But, I mean, if you're on a budget, you can get something like this. These are nice little lake boats, ski boats. 33,000, 300 a month. Eighteen footer. Nice Mercury 115. Not bad. Not bad for the price.
Here's another one. Another 18 footer, basically the same boat, I think. Oh, a little different. This one has the full windshield. This one's nicer. I like this one. Not a lot of leg room, but that's okay. Little cushy seats, rear facing seats for when you're wakeboarding. Let's check out the bow real quick. Comfortable enough for two people. All right, there's one more nice little Tahoe right here. Let's check this one out real quick. 50,000, 384 a month. Nice dual axle trailer. Another Mercury Pro XS 200. Pretty much the same boat as that first one, just bigger. And the bow on this one is nice. Let's go take a closer look at that. Oh yeah. I mean, you could lean back, stretch your legs out. That is a really comfortable, nice big bow. So much leg room, look at that. I could get comfortable on this boat. Nice tracker here, bass boat. 48,411 a month. Nice lake boat, nice bass boat. Loaded with electronics. Believe it or not, my 19 foot boat that I had a long time ago was almost identical to this boat. Yeah. Seat on a pedestal up front. Almost identical. Good. Another nice bass boat. A little more affordable. 31,000. 291 a month. Very nice. This one's only 26,000. 240 a month. What's the motor? Let's check the motor. Mercury four stroke, 75. Good enough for a smaller boat like that. Okay, now we're in the monster section. The beasts. These things are beasts. This one here's a 24 footer. We already saw a 24 footer. Let's check out one of these big guys real quick. 26 footer. That's a monster. Oh yeah. Solid back doors. V8, 250 V8s. 28 footer. Again, 300 V8s. Two of them. And another 24 footer. How about let's jump on the biggest one and check it out real quick. Oh, triple axle trailer. Wow. That's cool. The center console. Rocket launchers. I gotta know, what is this little box for? Oh, just a little storage. Check out this fish box real quick. Yep. Looks like a fish box. Downrigger mounts. Hey, is it unlocked? Come on. Oh. It's locked. Oh well. Hey, looks like this one has. Hey, it's got a toilet. Is it a flushable toilet? I don't know. Anyway, 
Let's go check the price. Oh, 251,000. Now the cheapest boat that's actually a boat I would consider a functional nice boat. We got 17,840, 182 bucks a month payments. You know what, if I was only interested in fishing lakes, I didn't want to go into the ocean or the Puget Sound. I mean, dude, almost anyone can afford that. That's a nice boat. And I like that it's kind of bare bones because you have so much room for your gear. I don't want all of that to be covered up with seats, you know? I got fishing gear, I might want to bring some, whatever, crab pots or crawdad traps or whatever. Tackle boxes. Yeah. 40 horse Merc. Oh, and also, I just talked to the guy. These Pro XS motors, he said the way that they're made and the way that they're tuned, they actually get about 20% more horsepower than just your typical four stroke 115. So. You go up just like a regular, like a regular Mercury four stroke like that. If that was 115 horse, then this one here would, you know, it's more like a 135 horse because they just have more power. So that's what that is. Another one, 16,900, 173 bucks a month. I mean, it's, it's a tiny bit cheaper but you don't have the steering console. You got the tiller motor. You got to sit back here and steer the motor by hand. I don't like that. I would much rather have at least one little seat here with a normal type steering wheel. You know, I, I mean, it's not even a thousand bucks more. So, yeah, I'm not really a fan of that. So of all the boats that we've just seen, I'm curious to hear some comments. Which one of these boats would you pick if you were ready to buy and why? For me, I just need something that can comfortably fish four people. I don't, I'm really not gonna ever take any more people out than that. Um, most of the time it's gonna be two or three. So I would pick something like this boat right here behind me. Because it has enough space, everything I need, and it's affordable. This is the 18 footer. 61,000 but the only thing they don't really like is that it oh it does have the extended transom oh that's why it's 61 yeah this it'd be probably five grand cheaper if it didn't have that extended transom so here's an 18 footer with the extended transom so you get gives you more space in the back of the boat and still not a lot of space but it's good enough I mean Two people could work together to pull in a big fish in this boat. If it was any smaller, it would be too small, but... But, let's step it up real quick. This is... So I would say I would probably pick this one. And this one does not have the extended transom. Okay, it's cool that you got a little... This little thing here jump in the water, little swim, little swim ladder there, that's cool, but it does not have the extended transom. It does have the nice motor though. So when you don't have the extended transom, you get this whole section that takes up the back of your boat, and then you have less space back here. But this is a 20 footer and not an 18 footer, so you still have a lot of space. I mean, that's plenty. So, I would probably pick this one if I had to pick one probably go with this one because it's affordable and there's no tag but I think this other one does have a tag so the, that 18 footer with the extended transom was 61 this one 20 footer only 48,000 Wow a 20 footer for 48 and the other one is 61 just because it had that extended transom so that is not a bad price at all 48,000 for a 20 footer like the one we just looked at 
That's a good price, 48,000 for that boat. And a dual axle trailer. Wow. Oh, it does, this one does have the extended trans. All right, 150 horse. Okay, so for 48,000, this would be my choice. This is, this is nice for 48. To me, this is a really good price for 48,000. Got the, the bait station, cut up your bait, fish box in there, tons of room, tons of space to fish. Man, kind of impressed. 48, all right, there's my pick. That's my pick. Most boat for your money, most bang for your buck right there. I'm surprised that that's just 48. Let me take a look at that one more time, man. I feel like, I almost feel like there's something wrong there. I knew it was too good to be true. I was looking at the wrong number. It's 69,000. That makes more sense. The base price is 48, which means, I don't know what that means. No trailer? Or just the boat, no motor, no trailer? I don't know. All right, let's stop and check out this massive fish tank that they have here. I always get a kick out of this thing. There we go. Got a little bass chilling. We got some crappie, I think. Another big old bass. What's up, buddy? Let's go to this side. They should have some big old fat steelhead over here. I always get a kick out of these guys. Oh, there's a nice one. Actually, he's kind of beat up. Oh, that's a beauty. Oh, I don't think that the video does him justice. It's about an 18 incher. That one's about 20. Man, they look tasty. What's your guys' favorite kind of salmon? As far as I'm concerned, steelhead is the best eating fish of all the salmon. Better than king salmon, better than silver. Every time I have steelhead, it's so moist and so good. I think it's the best. Okay, last but not least, we had to take another look at this boat because this boat is really impressive. Why is this boat so impressive? Because it's got the eight foot. Eight and a half foot beam. Eight and a half foot beam. So it's six it's inches wider. Six inches wider. Yep, than any other, than any other boats in this size. 21 and a half feet, eight and a half foot beam. But it makes a huge difference when you get inside. Yeah, you can feel it. This is a $100,000 boat, but if, you, if that was your budget, this is an awesome boat. Let's get inside. Yeah, whoops. I mean, when I first looked at this boat, I thought it was like a 26 or foot boat because it just feels so big when you get inside. There's so much space, but it's it's a it's a 21 and a half foot boat, right? 21 and a half foot boat. Yeah. But man, the That's wider beam. And a half feet from here to the tip of the house, so down the center line, the outward bracket or the offshore bracket is another two. Feet. Yeah. Man, uh, it's kind of hard to see on video, but I mean, when you look at how much space is back here, so much more space. You're not packed together. I mean, four people comfortably with plenty of elbow room and fish back here. So... So Spartan boats are made here in Washington? Made in Clarkston, Washington. Clarkston? Yep. And pretty much as far as your welded aluminum boats go now, that's all Home Depot carries. I mean, sorry, Cabela's. <laughs> Cabela's. 
<laughs> yeah, we carry the Spartan. It's a uh, uh, very rugged boat. It's all TIG welded. Um, you know, some of the nicer finishes are epoxy paint on it. We put the downrigger brackets on it, and I think they're in the right place. Um, of course, we rig it up however you want. Put Scotty's cans, whatever you want on it. Same thing with electronics. Mm -hmm. We'll rig it up any way you want. Awesome. Yep. Yep. Kicker motor. It's already plumbed in for a kicker motor. Full set of controls up front. Yeah, this Welded boat. kicker bracket on it. Yeah. 200 horse mark. Yeah. Nice hard top. Yep. Rocket launchers. All those rocket launchers are actually made in the factory as well. They don't sub anything out. That's a that's a bonus. I mean, I would miss those. If I had a smaller boat that didn't have that, it's mm -hmm. like, then where are you going to put all your poles? You know? Yeah, it's an advantage with a hard top because you've got a place to put them. Yeah. But you can also get out of the weather. In the summertime, this will come off. It just snaps off. You open the windows, you open the door. Hey, you got wind coming through, but it's keeping the sun off you. In the wintertime, you can completely close it up, put a heater up there, and you're warm. Yeah. And like today, it was great. Perfect fishing day for today. And these seats are, what do you call that? So those are, those are, those are suspension seats. Suspension seats. Yeah, is what they're called. So they have shock absorbers there. Yeah. Shock absorbers. I just sat in one. They're really comfortable. Yep. Yeah, as soon as you sit in it, you can feel the, the shock absorbers. It just, it gives and. All the upholstery is made in-house. All the canvas is made in house. They don't subcontract that out. Buy it imported. Well, I'm impressed. I mean, I remember a, a few years back when I would come here to Cabela's and look at the different boats. Some of them looked a little, uh, I don't know, kind of cheap, not like quite heavy duty as some of the other welded boats that I've seen. But yeah. I've been out, I've been here for an hour checking out these Spartan boats, and they just looking at the welds and just looking out how heavy duty everything is on it. It's just, it looks to me like every bit as solid heavy duty as any welded they boat are. I've ever seen. Yep. Yep. They're definitely known for how rugged they are. That's the whole idea. They're fishing machines that built to last a long, long time. The, you know, the boat itself has a lifetime warranty on it. It should, should not last any motor you put on it. And when you're done with a motor, you can swap a motor out. It's easy to do with an outboard. Yeah. Well, I think it's cool that you have such a huge selection of Spartan boats here. And I think it's kind of cool that, I don't know. I think it kind of simplifies. I feel like you get a heavy duty boat as you're ever going to get as far as welded aluminum boats for as good as prices you're going to get. I don't, I don't feel like you need a massive selection. I think you got as good as you're going to get with this really good selection of these Spartan boats here. All right.